This procedure begins with the staging of zebrafish embryos. When the embryos have reached the stage of interest, remove them from the chorion. Next, holes are created in an agarose coated dish with a pipette tip for mounting the embryos, and the embryos are placed gently in the holes with their tails down. After the embryos are mounted, a fluorescent dye is carefully injected into the ventricle space of the embryo through the hindbrain. After ventricle injection, the embryos are imaged and the data is processed using Photoshop. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gutzman from the laboratory of Dr. Hazel Siv at the Whitehead Institute for Biomedical Research and MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Today, we will show you a procedure for zebrafish brain ventricle injection. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study brain ventricle formation and neuroepithelial morphogenesis in live zebrafish. Due to the nature of transparent zebrafish embryos, characterizing the brain ventricle shape can be difficult. This technique is a useful and simple way to differentiate the fluid-filled space from the surrounding tissue and to characterize mutant embryos that may have brain ventricle formation defects. So let's get started. To prepare for injecting the zebrafish brain ventricle, we start by making the injection needles. A Sutter Instruments needle puller is used to pull the capillary needles. The capillary needle is then filled with a fluorescent dye, such as Texas Red Dextrin. Next, the filled needle is mounted in a micro-manipulator and micro-injection apparatus.